welcome to the Groza and the major June patch for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. I was able to try out the most important changes and this is why I made this ultimate guide to the June patch, so that you can use this information on your way to your next chicken dinner. Let's start with the Groza. This new assault rifle is chambered for 7.62mm ammo and it can only be found in airdrops, so you will have to chase the airplane if you want to get your hands on the Groza. But be careful though, the airdrops just became super popular and you will meet a lot of resistance, because everybody wants to play with the Groza, especially kamikaze drivers. Normally I only see one, maybe two other guys who go for the same airdrop, but now I've seen more than 5 guys showing up, so be prepared. I will make an ultimate guide for the Groza when I have all the stats, but I will show you the basic bullet patterns so that you know what to expect. There are two firing modes, single fire and fully automatic. Without aiming, the bullet pattern is terrible. A few shots are centered but most of the bullets are all over the place. The targeting mode, so when you hold your right mouse button, is a lot better. The gun does jump up after firing the initial 4 bullets, but it goes up in a straight line. And ADS is even better. A nice straight line, with a tendency for an S-like pattern, but overall it's very easy to compensate for the recoil in ADS. These patterns are even better in single fire, and ADS really stands out because I've rarely seen such a tight bullet pattern in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. There are 30 rounds in one magazine, but you can prepare yourself for this weapon by picking up 7.62mm cartridges before you go for the Groza. One thing that I noticed is how beautiful the game looks. The water reflections are amazing. Also the new weather settings are very nicely done. We now have sunset and clear skies and they both look awesome. They made a few changes to the way we can pick up stuff as well. Before the patch we had to stop to pick up stuff if we wanted to do that by pressing the foxtrot button. Now we can keep walking while we do that. This can make it faster to collect certain single items. The vector and the UMP now also have an additional burst mode. This means that we now have to go from single to burst and then to auto. So don't get caught with your pants down when you think that your weapon is in auto while it's only in burst. They also made some changes to the airdrops or care packages. You will not find the VSS anymore in airdrops. This weapon will now spawn somewhere in the map. We also have a low probability to find silencers for assault rifles and sniper rifles in airdrops and if you're lucky we can even get a 4x scope. The cabins are now destructible, but be careful, because you will see some newly constructed cabins. They look like they were made out of concrete and these are the ones that are non-destructible. I tried and you can only destroy doors and windows and that's it. The other cabins, the wooden ones, now look like they were destroyed already, but this is what they look like from the start of the game. These are the ones that you can destroy. All you have to do is to shoot them, use a grenade and I think that you can even use your car. You can now interact with doors, items or vehicles while you are reloading, but this means that your reload will be cancelled when you do so. Another change to the reload system is that we can't change the firing mode anymore while we are reloading. Your chances of finding a certain weapon have changed as well. The spawn rate of the UMP was slightly decreased, the spawn rate of the UZ was slightly increased and the spawn rate of the SCAR L was also decreased to better fit the weapon's tier because we used to be able to pick up this weapon everywhere we looked. The UMP received an increase in recoil but the change didn't feel very big when I first used it. They added a new handgun, the P18C, a 9mm gun with a full automatic mode. Pistols now draw faster, which means that it's now better to go for your pistol instead of your secondary weapon when you run out of ammo for your primary weapon. On top of that, you can now attach a red dot to your pistol. This will help a lot if you have an extra red dot. Unfortunately, we can't attach other sights to our pistol, so no holographic sight and also no 4x scope for long range handgun kills. The spawn rate of the level 1 vests has been increased and the spawn rate of vehicles and speedboats has been improved, so that you can now see them from farther away. This is very useful from when you're jumping out of an airplane and you're looking for a vehicle. Bikes now handle much better and smoother and they feel a lot more realistic. On top of all these changes, they also improved server performance by reducing the amount of data that was sent and they reduced the lag. Frame drops have been improved as well, and they banned about 25,000 cheaters, which is a great thing. When you play duos or with a squad, then you will now be awarded with a kill when you knock out a person. So, the person knocking out an opponent will now receive the kill, not the actual killer. A small cosmetic change has been applied to the cargo airplane. When people jump out, then you will now see an open cargo door and the lighting inside and outside of the airplane has been optimized. 
I was able to sneak up to somebody in game, but unfortunately it's not possible to melee a person who is lying down. So this doesn't seem fixed or I might have to sign up for a close combat course. I still can't believe that this guy didn't hear me because he was the one who was hunting me in the first place. These were the most important changes that came with the June patch. Use this information to your advantage and make sure that you are the one who gets that chicken dinner. While you're here, why not check out one of these videos and as you know the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.